Okay, so uh, PyLab has released another version of his excellent Raspbian 95, and uh, this one is superb. This one's in English, uh, so you don't have to change anything. So you download the image and everything comes up in English and you can see that the usual things are installed. Uh, and if you see my other video, I go through all the games emulators and everything like that and it, and it just is excellent. But the really good thing that's been added this time is this little button here. So this is basically, this operating system is Raspbian with a Windows 95 skin on it. Uh, and, it, and it really does look like Windows 95, so when you click on folders and things, uh, it, it just appears like you're using Windows 95. But under it, it really is Raspbian. Uh, what he's done now is created a virtual machine with Windows 98. So if you click on that icon, you can see, <laughs> and even little things like the, uh, the scan disk, which uh, obviously I must have shut it down incorrectly the last time. So if I click on it, if I click on the window, my mouse will appear uh, within this, uh, and it actually it won't at the moment because of the because it's doing the scan disk. The mouse driver wasn't even present, but uh, you'll see now it's starting up Windows 98, and this is proper, fully installed Windows 98, but in a virtual machine. Uh, and there's an amazing thing about this in that you can install games on it, uh, Windows games on it, and things that that I couldn't get to work on DOSBox. Uh, just easily installed on Windows 98. So if I press Control, Alt, and G, it releases the mouse cursor, and you can see now I'm in Raspbian. Uh, and I'll just double click on this Home button. And I'll show you, there's a folder called Virtual Machine, and at the end of this video, I explain exactly how to get the games on it. Uh, so double click on that, and you can see there are three CDs in here. Uh, well, they're not, they're, you have to create uh, virtual uh, CDs, uh, so they're ISO files, uh, and that's how the virtual machine, the Windows 98, can read them. But I'll show you that later. Um, the last one I did, I put uh, three lots of games in one CD just to try it and see if it works, but I'll do that in another video. So let's close that down. So I made this a different color, um, so that, and this is the color I used to have my Windows 98 actually my Windows 95 machine. I never really had a Windows 98 machine. I went from 95 uh, onwards. So uh, what was it Millennium I had after that? So if I click in here, you can see I can now move the mouse pointer about. And this really is Windows 98. So if I click on Start uh, and you have a look at things like Programs, Accessories. So if I was to go for Internet Tools, Internet Connection Wizard, Net Meeting, all the things that you would expect. Dial up networking, that phone dialer. The internet doesn't work on this, but you don't want to be running 98 uh, with the internet. I don't know if they can get it working, but I wouldn't want to be doing that. Address book, the calculator works. You know, all the windows work as they should. So go back into programs. There's quite a lot of games in here as well. Uh, so MS-DOS works. I've installed Elastomania because it's one of my favorite DOS games of all time. And I'll go through that in a minute. But these are uh, the Windows games that are already installed. So uh, proper old style Windows games. So if I click on Tetris and click on OK. You gotta go up the top here, look. game, new game. And so you can see that it runs nice and fast. A lot of variety of shapes there. There you go. So let's just do that. Uh, if I quit out of that, so exit, you see it, it actually runs absolutely fine. It's, it, it runs quite snappily. It's, it's really nice to use. Uh, what's favorites? Channels, links. <laughs> These are the web pages that hot free hotmail internet start windows update so documents find help run so let's have a look oh, oh and did I yeah you see I've got a little desktop icon here which is the one I put in the 
which is the one in my YouTube thumbnail, GTA. So double click on that. And it goes a bit weird for a second. There's no sound on this GTA, but uh, other games there are sound with. Uh, I don't know why there's no sound with it. I have tried, tried to configure it. Now, if I wanted to center this screen, I could do Control Alt and G. I can drag it. And I can do this full screen, but I'd rather play it in this smaller screen because the resolution is better. So let's click on that, hit play. And my cursors on this portable keyboard are so close together but I'll give it a go. So we've got, oh, enter to enter a car. So you can see it runs pretty well. I mean, it could be a bit smoother, but I'm amazed to get this working. Oh, that's a, that's a wall, is it? Yeah, that is a wall. Just trying to run people over. Good citizen. Ooh. I just pick up then. So if I press control, oh yeah, I've got a gun already, that. <laughs> I forgot the hedges are proper sticky in this game. I was hoping I could get down to the telephones this way. As I say, no sound, but it probably is just just a setting. What have we got here? Another gun. Right, so out of the car. Yeah, I keep missing the up button because these cursors are so close together. And I used to play this loads, this actual demo. So we need two yellow cabs for a bank job. So. Hmm. Yeah, I used to whiz around here, but um, but, as I said, these guys are so ridiculously small. Do, do, do. Oh, there's a cab. All right. Oh, there's another one, and another one. I don't know what I picked up there. But as you can see, it's working. I'll try and get a bit of speed up, but <laughs> oh, just just push on through, police. So I hit the police just to so. show. There you go. He comes out. That he's shooting at me. Little skid there. Oh, they they're aggressive, aren't they? You see that at least. Oh, they're super quick. Anyway, that shows GTA, original GTA. This is, this is a demo uh, which I got from dosgames.com, which I show in the tutorial of how to, to put games into this. But it is excellent. So let's just jump out my car, have a little run around, get my gun out. Or oh, in fact, let's explode my car. <laughs> and I remember I used to, I used to just get loads and loads of cars all together, park them all together, and then blow them off all together with a gun. Uh, and it was just amazing that this real world, uh, at the time, it it, uh, it was just incredible that you could just drive anywhere, go anywhere, get in a car, get out of a car. Uh, and the levels were great as well. So that's GTA. Uh, let's do escape, uh, escape. And you can see on here, there are menu options. And I did try and change the sound. Oh, in the other one, text normal music constant, escape, sound. Oh, it's in, so you can configure it in a different file uh, if you wanted to have a go, which is, so if I quit out of that, I then go, where did I put it? I put it in the C drive. And it actually installs like a normal game, so not not like you would do some other emulation. You're actually just proper installing a Windows game uh, because it's, it's a full build of Windows.
just so impressive. Uh, there you go, so there's a GTA folder. And in the GTA DOS. And this is all thanks to PyLab. Uh, PyLab has done incredible work on this uh, and, and just, just made probably one of the best operating systems for the Pi. Uh, so if I click on the K, and he is going to try and get 3D support, I was reading. Uh, so then you would find that more modern games would work even better. Yeah, so I tried it in here. Uh, and if I look in, select digital driver. So if I then go control alt G to release this mouse pointer, I did see in here, because uh, one of the ways you get the CD-ROM to work, you need to use this folder open it with leafpad and in here it does talk about sound hardware sound blaster 16 so i figured it would be that but there are other audio things you can change and there is a little readme file uh, on the desktop which again is all in english um, and so you can go through this it is overclocked this image you can see to two gigahertz and there's various different things about the sound, and there you go about the 3D. But uh, yeah, so watch this build, subscribe to PyLab, have a look at his content because he's doing amazing things. So let's quit out of that, and I'll show you that some games work with sound. Close that down. So Elastomania installed just like a normal game. Uh, so like a normal Windows game. And I've tried to get this to work with DOSBox before and failed. Uh, so under Programs, Elastomania, Elastomania, just thinking about it, Unless, oh. and this runs in full screen as well, but when it's in full screen, uh, it's very low res, and I'm sat very close to a 43 inch TV, so I'm going to keep it in this windowed setting, so, and you can see very, all the menus are really snappy on this, and you can hear the sound. Two games that I spent ages playing, so the GTA um, and and Elastomania spent way too much time playing back in the day on my Windows 95 computer. And I have the original disc, I'll show it now. Uh, I have the original um, GTA game from when I bought it back in the day. I've always kept hold of it, but I just tried it with the demo um, because th there is a way of converting. Well, if you've got if you've got a disc that is an ISO, obviously you can save that as an ISO the same way as you can do a folder, uh, and so you can install games from disc on there. Obviously, some commercial games uh, needed the disc in to play. And so you need to take that into account. But that's still all doable, I'm sure. I haven't tried it yet at this early stage. There you go. So just to show you how quick the menus are, that super quick, up and down. Escape, escape. Do you want to quit? Yes. Look, so we'll, we'll just, uh, before I go, let's just click up, set, set up MSN Internet and see what happens. <laughs> there you go. Get fast, reliable internet access and email from Microsoft next. We need to install a modem before continuing. There you go, so that. Uh, go next, see if it auto detects. Obviously there is no modem plugged into my Pi. So I'll cancel out of that. But just to show you things like, let's quit out of that and let's try and remember where everything is. Uh, I think control panel. Here we go. So this is somewhere I used to visit a lot back in the day. Uh, and if we go to system, here we go. So registered to Pi, gen genuine Intel Pentium processor. It's emulating 256 meg of RAM. You can see all the devices show up. Does it say for CD-ROM then? QMU, DVD-ROM, disk drives. It's 
standard VGA. Just excellent, really, really good. System resources, look, 88% free, not bad. If we go into sounds. There you go, so some of the sounds work. Maybe the other one did, I didn't hear it. I've got my TV turned down low. So let's just just at the end of this before I so so at the end I'm going to show you exactly how to um, set up an ISO file and so on. But uh, what I'll do is just shut this down properly. I think this is what you're supposed to do. But sometimes it does come up with that error message. Windows is shutting down. There you go. So this is the VM file, VM folder rather, virtual machine folder. So. 3DOS games is the name of the folder that I've put three games into. So if I go to uh, right click and open with Leafpad. So I need to put in 3DOS games here. 3DOS games like that. And then you save that. And hopefully, when I restart it, it should find it. So Windows 98. So to download this image, uh, you need to go to the PyLab video uh, that I'll link in my description. I'm not going to put a link, a direct link in my video because I didn't create it. Um, and PyLab's done such good work on it. Uh, so if you click on his video, you can then uh, download basically this image. Uh, and then you can start installing your own games or just play around with the image as it is um, or uh, use all of the emulators that are in there. So, you know, things like PPSSPP, Redream, uh, N64, all those emulators are already included so you just got to supply your own ROMs. So now if we go into my computer, I keep doing that, uh, I click when I'm using the mouse on the outer system, I click on, I double click on the, the virtual machine. But now I'm in the virtual machine, you can see. So, 3DOS games. This is how I've installed the other games. So if I double click on that, you can see that I've put three folders in there. I've got Carmageddon, I've got uh, DOSBox Rally and Rally, some other rally game. There was like a 3D rally game and a top-down rally game. And I thought they both looked interesting. Uh, and I got those all from 3DOS games. Uh, there you go. So I won't do that in this video, but uh, but that's how you get your that's how you get any files uh, into Windows. So if you wanted an image to do your background, you would do exactly the same. Uh, I would say get a load of things together and then go through this next process, and that will allow you to get your files into this virtual machine. Anyway, so let's show you exactly how to create these ISO files. Okay, so first step, you're going to need to find a game. So if you head over to dosgames.com, I picked Grand Theft Auto. Uh, this is a demo, but it works perfectly well on this system. And the folder that you download will need to be turned into an ISO file, uh, which is what this version of Windows 98 Virtual Machine will read from. So there's many different ways you can turn a folder into an ISO file. I'm using the Mac OS method because I can screen capture easily. So start disk utility and go up to file, new image and image from folder. You need to change the image format to CD, DVD. And then we need to choose where to save it. So I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And this doesn't take very long. Then we need to close down Disk Utility and open up Terminal. So you need to type in cd tilde forward slash desktop. Now you need to type in hdi util make hybrid dash iso dash joliet dash o gta 8 dot iso gta 8 dot cdr. Now gta 8 is the original name of the folder that I used. Uh, and so that's basically going to change the CDR file to an ISO. Okay, so now you need to locate your ISO file, your newly created ISO file. 
and pop it on a USB stick which you're going to put into your Raspbian 95 Raspberry Pi. OK, so now with your USB stick in, navigate to the USB stick and copy the ISO file. Then you want to open up Home, VM and just paste it in there. OK, so next step, right click on Win98.sh and open with Leafpad. Then you need to add in the highlighted part with the CD-ROM bit, uh, but instead of saying GTA 8, it needs to say the name of your file, uh, and then just file and quit out of that. So now close that down and double click on the Windows 98 icon on the desktop. So now click on My Computer on your Windows 98 desktop, and you'll see that the CD-ROM looks like there's one in there. And in my case it says GTA 8. Double click on that and you can access it as if it's a CD or a folder. Now the next bit will depend on what game or disc you're playing. In the case of this one, I'm clicking on GTA. And then it will go into an installation path. Uh, so you can see here it's saying about auto startup hard drive installation. So I need to select that. Install to C GTA, just a normal Windows install now, nothing fancy. And you can see that it's installing the files. And that's it, all installed. So you can carry on as normal as if you're on a Windows 98 computer. Alright, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.